Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Monday, June 12th. Hope everybody is doing well. Let's see what today's energy is going to bring us. Um, hope everybody had a great weekend. And again, thank you for all the views and the likes. I appreciate it. And comments, of course. Um, all right, so cards just fell out here. And let's see what we got. So we think I have four cards. I think I'll do this. All right, first card is the Queen of Swords, Independence. We also have a Nine of Swords, Stress. Three of Cups, Celebration. And then Death, Angel Transformation. Um, so the Queen of Swords, uh, it says Independence. I also see her as being very direct and very um, sharp. Um, with her her words or her decisions because they could be very impactful and they have a tendency to maybe um, open up some un, insecure feelings within others because of her confidence level and her directness. There could be uh, repercussions sometimes of how... Um, just, just how direct she can come across sometimes and that could cause stress. So there is this Nine of Swords energy stress um, due to words, due to mental uh, thoughts, um, you know, limit, limited beliefs, doubt. And um, I kind of feel like this energy, either this Queen of Swords could be somebody who's impacting your life, or this could mean that you need to be a little bit more direct with your words they need to be a little bit more you need to be a little bit more mindful with your word choices a little bit more direct in order to get the things you want or or not feel bad about what it is the, for the things that you want because i feel like this knight of swords is feeling bad feeling stressed about asking for what you want or being direct about what you want and this could mean that um there's a part of you that's not being being spoken or being, you know, um, heard, um, you're not speaking up for your truth. And when we don't, we can beat ourselves up or have, cause ourselves more stress because we're not speaking our truth. So this Queen of Swords, um, if they are somebody in your life, and it, it, it could be a representation of what you would like to become a little bit more assertive. Um, a little bit more direct with your approaches to things, this independence. Um, and, and what I said before, they could feel a little bit sharp. Sometimes you have to be in order to get what you want, or you may feel like you're coming across that way, which could be that self-imposed nine of swords energy as well. But you need to understand in order to get where you need to go, sometimes you need to be that assertive, direct person so that you can celebrate your victories and transform your life. Because this angel transformation says something needs to give here. Something needs to change in order to um, celebrate your emotional well-being. Because cups is emotions. And being direct and, and kind of getting to the point, uh, the sword's the point. You, you have to be able to communicate well. And you need to be honest and upfront with your needs and what is what is necessary for you in order to celebrate your victories celebrate the the steps the forward steps ahead um this is where the transformation comes in this is where new growth starts this is where you're able to put down that that sword or um that cutting tool that you had you can put that down you can start you know, recognizing your hard work and the growth through what you had to slay in order to get there. Um, it's a Monday. <laughs> so Mondays are always uh, coming off of a, um, you know, a nice relaxing weekend, hopefully. Um, Mondays are always one of those days where we have to try and get back into the swing of things. And we might feel like we just want something different today. So being direct with that approach and going forward with that doing something different is important so do it 
All right, hope everybody has a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.